Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only trend set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called Pussy Punch. The ingredients you need are some oranges, some pomegranate seeds, some pomegranate juice, some cranberry juice, and some vanilla extract. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to slice those oranges and you're going to cut the slices in half, combine the oranges, the pomegranate seeds, and the pomegranate juice, the orange juice and the cranberry juice, and a little bit of the vanilla together in a punch bowl or whatever type of bowl. And mix, refrigerate for two to three hours. Before serving, add soda and gently stir. So you can make that just a drink without any alcohol, or you can be like me and add some rum or maybe some vodka. Lately these days, I've been liking the vodka because I heard it's healthy for you. So add a little vodka, add a little rum, and then (laughs) top it off with some Prosecco and you have pussy punch. I, I was out with one of my girlfriends and she was like, girl, just get vodka and soda. It has less calories than any other alcohol. That's what I meant by healthy. Less calories, yes. But I'm like, healthy, little healthier. girl, what do you think you get some antioxidants? <laughs> Vodka's just so nasty. Yeah, it's definitely a lower cal option. It is. You what? I said vodka's just so nasty. By itself. But what I do appreciate about vodka is how well it goes with so many other things. And so it you can have this damn fruit punch, put some vodka in it, and get lit. You know, I like it. Yeah, I like can, the Moscow. Yeah, you can mules. definitely hide That's the flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. welcome back to Cocktails or Discussions, you guys. Um, what's been up, Medina? Hey, y'all. Girl, we just spoke yesterday and the day before. Um, <clears throat> I've been busy, busy. Today was very you busy. Tell, I'm just going to say Medina's that. Medina's not like... excited to speak to me again. <laughs> when... <laughs> we just spoke when yesterday and the day before what? that, bitch. How many times you going to ask me? <laughs> Today was just one of them struggle days where, and I know y'all probably annoyed with us keep saying this. I'm not getting enough sleep, and there's just not enough hours in the day to complete everything. And I feel like I'm, um, like spreading myself thin. But right now, I just have to do that. And so sometimes it just gives me this attitude, and I'm trying to like be like, this is just the life that you got to do right now. But everything's good. Um, what about you, Kiki? How you doing? I'm doing well. I kind of feel the same way. It's like certain times of the year, you just really have to buckle down and like work yourself to the bone just so that you, I want to be able to enjoy the holiday next week. Mm -hmm. People better not be asking me for shit next week. So I'm getting it done now. Now I have to bust my ass. Noted. You know, so that's why I'm like, okay, I need these ads, girl, because we got to push them back. Uh, I'm trying to do this. I just want to be able to enjoy and be present. I've been doing, Mm -hmm. I've been vlogging. I've been working. I've been doing all kinds of stuff every day. When I get to Texas and I see my mom and my nieces, my siblings, my stepdad, my brother-in-law, everybody, I want to be there and be in the moment. I feel you on that. That's what Christmas is for. Be in the moment. Put your phone down. Yeah, unless we're doing our Instagram photo shoots because everybody's on board for that. So look out for our post. Well, you would have seen our post by the time you hear this. But yeah, it's just one of those things. Today, um, I was rushing, trying to mail out packages. So, you know, a few episodes ago, I told y'all I got stuff sent to me. I didn't know what I was keeping for myself. I didn't know what I was sending to other people. I sent my book club members, some of them gifts that won at our holiday happy hour. So Mm. I thought that today was the last day to ship things out for it to arrive by Christmas. It is actually Mm. Friday the 18th, not Thursday the 17th. So I was running around like a crackhead. I have so much espresso running through my veins right now, only to finish it all and be like, Tomorrow is the deadline. At least so it's whatever. done. Though. The shit is done. I still at least got it's done. More you have a free Friday. Yeah. At least it's I don't like have a you free got Friday. it done. I just don't have to do that on Friday. <laughs> yeah. At least it is but done. Yeah, I like when stuff good. like that happens. When you rush to get something mm-hmm. done and you're like, oh dang, I had another day, but it's done. This week we have Antoine Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine, uh, we learned a little bit about you. Um, that you have kind of been to prison, that you are the shortest person to compete in the NFL regional uh, thingy, my Bob, and you have some celebrity girlfriends or had, and you dabble in acting. We can't wait to get to know you, Antoine. Um, before we get to know you a little bit better, we are going to, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all some stuff that I found for weird sex. 
You said a man is not a necessity, a man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. So this week's Weird Sex, I just want to remind y'all, it's not safe everywhere. Mm. And I found this article. Um, I was looking at some stuff. Some, You know how I fall into these black holes on the <clears> internet. <throat> I was looking at some stuff about human trafficking, right? Because, you mm-hmm. know, it's rampant. People aren't just stealing your Amazon packages and your gifts. They're still snatching up kids. And it's all kind of stuff going on. And different countries, you know, have different laws and things to regulate um sex offenders in pakistan guess what they're about to start doing what sex offenders cutting their balls off basically but they're gonna do it with chemicals instead of just slicing it off with a machete yes and that i'm you know that is a lot but that's one of the countries where a lot of women do not speak up the men get away with stuff all of the time because they are the ones that are protected it's one of those places a super conservative you know a lot of shit is just not so great over there but yeah they're about to start chemically castrating people so I'm just As they should. I'm glad. that the world is changing yeah <clears throat> get chemicalize those balls okay burn mm-hmm. them up from the inside parts i wish they would Keep do more things like that to in yourself the, um... In the U.S. when people get in trouble for certain things. Some we're more cutting your hands things. off. Yeah. We're cutting your hands off, your lips, mm-hmm. everything. You're getting snip, mm-hmm. snip, snip. That snap. tongue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your Let's eyes. Looking at child porn, your eyes got to go. Because you don't oh. know what to do with them. You don't know. And then not only do your eyes have to go, you have hmm. to eat them in eye drop soup. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said eye drop <laughs> soup like egg drop soup? <laughs> Yes. Got to be more careful. Yes. Hmm. All right, Antoine, we are going to play a game with you that we play on cocktails. It's called I'm Curious to Know. So we have curated some questions just for you, and you'll just give us an answer. Uh Kiki, you want to go first? All right. Yes. I'm curious to know, how tall are you? <laughs> I'm 5'1". <five one>. Wow. <laughs> are, you laughing at me? are you laughing at me? <laughs> I, oh, I'm, I forgot the camera yeah, was I'm on. One. You're the only one laughing. <laughs> <laughs> was I? Why are you doing me like that? I'm not you must laughing. Like, you must be I'm... like 5'11 or 6 foot or something. Sometimes when okay. Nina just <laughs>, laughs. She has a really nice smile. I think she likes laugh. to look at her teeth. Mm-hmm. But it's a nice <laughs> smile, so you know. Five one. Okay, you have turn. some questions about that later. Okay, I'm curious to know what is the best date that you yeah. think you've yeah. planned for a woman. I would have to say like a picnic, the picnic date I did before. Was it, do you remember the specific picnic, the picnic date? What did you? Dope. Yeah. Um, shit, I did so many of them. So that's uh, me, your signature. So that's like your go-to. You're like, oh, bitch. Like, no. No, 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 no. No, actually, um, I live in Atlanta, so I had did like a little picnic date over in like Piedmont Park. So it was like super dope. Like if you go to Piedmont Park, like and sit like on this like little hill, you can like see the city and like. What did you pack in the picnic basket? That's what I would like to know. And did you have a traditional picnic Um, basket, like a cute one? Don't don't do it. Or subway sandwiches. Listen, I. (laughs) (laughs) Hey yo, why did you hit that? Dead on though. I'm dead ass. It was like almost close to Subway sandwiches though. Almost very, <laughs> very close. But however, um, they were not from Subway, but from Publix sandwiches. And it was, I love a good it pub sub. Publix. Now on. listen, I love wait, a pub sub. Did, did your did your girl tell you about this? Absolutely not. You know I don't know anybody who knows you. But it's funny oh, because one of the worst dates I ever went on that I talked about on the show, the dude took me to Piedmont Park for a food truck festival and he stopped to get some sandwiches on the way. And I'm like, wow. what the fuck? This is a horrible day. But okay. So you had sandwiches. Maybe that was her thing. You had sandwiches. You sat on the hill outside. Hopefully it wasn't like a hot July day. Um, It was kind of hot, <laughs> but we had, we had a good time. Uh, it, it was a little Did hot. Did you have a bottle of wine? But we had a good time. It was like... 
I did. I had wine. I had Stella Rose, the wine. Um, Stella Rose. Don't do me like that. I had Stella Rose. Y'all must not be drinkers. Oh, Y'all aren't drinkers. <laughs> that is apple cider. Yeah, I had Stella, I had apple Stella cider Rose. juice. Listen. Listen, I, I am Stella, tickled. Look, don't, 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 don't knock me. Stella Rose. I had the, I had the, uh, the, the sandwiches and I had the fruit. You're, but that. bro, yes. this was the best date <laughs> that you've ever planned for a woman. That's the best the one that you minute. planned. No, you know what? Let me tell you. Let me. No, listen. Let me tell you why it was okay. the best date. So many, like so many people, like so many. I, I feel like a lot of women nowadays are like so extra. You know what I mean? And it was just the simple things that counted. You can tell, like just messing with the girl. Now, could I have done things more at that time? Possibly. And this was a couple of years ago. I wasn't where I'm at today. What made you pick that? So, though? Made like, a... did she say she's always wanted a picnic in the park? Is she always <laughs> at the park? Does she love that meal? No, we had we had a previous conversation and she said, like, because I like nature and she do too. So I had to just, like brought it up and she was like, let's do it. And I ain't never been on no picnic before. I know guy ever been on a picnic. So like, okay, it. well, we had a good time. It was cool. It was like, it was something like you you got to, we got to know each other and like I said she wasn't being like extra and like I respect a lot of guys that do do that because at the time like I said I wasn't in a position I'm in today. Um, what do you mean like money? Well, I, yeah, okay. like that. But I, I can't even say that because like a year later then I be, end up being in a very great position. But um, I don't think it really was the money. It was just that it ended up being it ended up being dope though. You know what I'm saying like. I liked it. It was it was it was fun like, to me. Um, but yeah, she had a good time. I had a good time, and I was able to get to know her. She wasn't extra and wasn't trying to go to the most fanciest restaurant and all this extra stuff. And, I don't think that's extra, you know, but that's a story for another day. Like that. No, I have my next. I'm curious to know question already. Okay, that was your question. Yeah. Oh, it was. So it's my turn. Yeah, I'm curious to know oh, what man. is this extra that you keep saying. What do you mean when a woman is extra? So, um, you just got a lot of. Women. I feel like if a woman see a guy like so nowadays, like everybody's on social media being like, when I say extra, I mean like fly, flashing this, doing that, flashy, all this other extra. Shit. Yeah, flashy. Okay. So a lot of women will see this particular guy and expect, like, if you date, for example, uh, we'll say the baby, little baby, whatever these rapper things is nowadays. So you date the baby. First thing a woman's going to think he got money because he's a rapper and he just is what he And he holds up the bags of money baby. on Instagram, literally. Well, I don't exactly. think that that's a great example because you're using somebody but, who's a flashy person. Let's say mm-hmm. somebody sees you. But who's not? Lots of people are not, not flashy. flashy. But I, I thought we were talking about know. women so being extra. I'm talking about women being <clears throat> extra. So it's like let's take the men out of the equation. If you if a, if you met a woman and you called her extra, what would make you call her extra? Is it because she's asking you to spend money on her? Is it because she has these high expectations as far as um what she wants to look like? Is it or just eat? an over the top popular uh personality like what exactly do you mean what are some I'm examples curious to of know that? too because you Cause said people it like use times. that so, word it's- but it's such like a blanket statement like what's extra some people might call a girl extra because she's loud and she's like a little bit obnoxious and it's just like a vocal thing it has nothing to do with money it's just her personality is super extra so um, yeah, I mean, you could so say, what are you, what do you now? say? <laughs> yeah, because there's different levels that being it's different levels of being extra when you're talking about female. You got women that's out here to me with all the, I mean, the fake bodies, nothing against them. You know, um, I feel like that's extra to be honest. Um, you got a lot of women out here in social media with Gucci and this and it, they do the same th- things that guys do, so it's like. It just depends. Like it's just levels of stuff, and it's like if you find if you if you date a girl as a guy, you're smart enough to know if a woman is into you for your money or into you for you. And if a guy don't know that, then they're stupid. Like that makes no sense. Like you should. I guess know. I'm trying to understand. Um, like, you 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 circle back to money a lot, but when you start off, you don't yeah. say anything about money. You're talking about fake bodies, and I don't. What does that have to do with? There's different levels. There's different levels. 
of women being extra. You asked me what makes women extra. and I So said, what like, are the levels? What's money? level one extra? Is it different bodies. levels or is it different things, different categories? Or is it really just the women that want the money and men don't have it at the time? And so it makes you a little bit uncomfortable or upset. Because that's really, like, every time I have this conversation, that's how I give. feel like that's what it really is. Listen, listen. No, 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 no. No. So listen, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you. So it's a difference. Like if, if you a guy that don't have the money, then I guess you can say that. But if you're a guy that has the money, you're going to go for a specific type of woman. And when you go for that specific type of woman, if you go out on a date with her, you can automatically see where she's going with it. If she's on some stuff like, I want to go here and I want to go here, like, like, no. Because then that's a woman that's into you for your for, So for your let's money. say like, like a woman, jumping you're going to take a woman on a date and she's like, you're like, I'm going to take you to dinner. And she's yes. like, I would like right. to go to Umi. Are we saying that because she likes high-end restaurants, she is wanting to take your money what if she goes there on her own what if she's just doing what she knows i don't think that i want to move on so we don't spend the whole time in the game and we can get back into this as a discussion but i feel like you didn't really answer it because i'm asking you still what does extra mean and you keep saying there's different levels to it but we've gotten no levels we've just gotten like what I said in the beginning, it's a blanket statement that you're using for but these women who are for, too much in some right. area for what you I, want. I feel like you're right, but you would. Thank you, you. you. It's hard to understand. It's no, it's hard to understand when you're a female and I'm a guy. It's just so, hard to understand when you don't female. use words and you're speaking super generic instead of giving specific no, examples. Because I think no. if somebody looks like too much, they're extra is what you're saying. If they ask for too much, they're extra. If they don't want you for you. They're extra. Everything that's no, outside of what no, you want. It's just, no, it's just a demi- No, no, no. That's not that's true. the examples it's just, it's you use. Demeanor. No, that's not. It's, it's, a, it's just a rough levels. conversation. I mean, certain women, certain women can be extra when it comes to certain things. It's <laughs> like you can have a girl that has a great body that's not extra. You know, it, it's personality. Personality just goes a long way. You know. It just, it just depends. So you just you want know? to make have, sure like that you have a right. humble woman who does not look like she has money and is not even interested in having a piece of yours. No, that's not. No, <laughs> no, no, that's not. No, no, no. It's not that. It's just that personalities just go a long way. It's hard to explain. Like You want a, somebody who person. has some depth, maybe, instead of everything being superficial? Is that what you're saying? Um, possibly. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm, well... I mean, like, <laughs> we'll just move on. <laughs> Maybe the we'll next, come to you later. <laughs> the next question. I'm curious to know. Yes. Who was the last woman's DMs you slid in? Uh, I don't know. Some light skin girl. I don't know. Oh. Just some random like IG model. Did it go well for you? Yeah, every time, yeah. Oh, you just be slipping and sliding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> slipping and no, slide, no, taking to the house. It, you know, so- <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to know, no, when you slide in somebody's DMs, what do you say? Like, what's your go-to pickup line? I know I put this shit on Do Not Disturb. You know, I, I, really, I really don't have have one i just basically so what'd you say in the last message that you sent can you look and read it to us <laughs> i was just about to say can you pull it up real quick yeah i'm curious exhibit a this is what i said in that light skin bitches well light skin girl don't be lying uh, to see the reflection <laughs> oh my god i don't even she ain't message you back i get the corniest shit in my okay. dms but i'll I be deleting stuff after i talk why to you, you- you got a girlfriend? You think somebody's going to screenshot you? Right, so, Are you married? Well, I said... <laughs> are you married? So I said, no, I just said, hey, how, how are you? And, you know, she said, what's up? But basically, and asked her where she is from. She said she's from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I was, I, said, I was in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And she said, you know what I'm saying? You know, how you how you been? And then it kind of went a day because I was busy. And then it... so, yeah, so you're a civilized slider. You're a civilized slider. You're not one of those like, dang, your booty yeah, looking juicy on that 
Yeah. Okay. Nah, that's good. <laughs> the wet, wet emojis. <laughs> yeah. Some of the stuff that men say yeah. in my DMs, I'm like, you did you read what? this before you sent it? Yeah. Like, bro, <laughs> you couldn't have possibly ever thought that you were nah. really gonna get somewhere with this statement. It just yeah, I ain't nah. It was just regular, just regular, like you know, what's up, chit chat. Hit her the next day. That was it. I was hoping and, for something that I could use myself. Yeah. Flip it around. <laughs> nice little line. Thought you're gonna have something creative. I, 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 need some game, I, need, I need some game from y'all. Like y'all need to tell me what I need to do. Well, like, how, you know, well, so, like, I, I don't know. First I'll tell you at the end if we can help extra. or not. Because right now it's not looking good. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's like we still we are stuck with start. the extra. We might not really. <laughs> Ah, we might be extra. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, don't be talking about my extra. I, well, I'm we're not. We're just confused are. about it. That's all. I'm loving it. We just wanted some clarity. Listen, but I have mean, noticed I when people don't... have these discussions about dating and men spending money and women looking extra, no one can really say exactly what the problem is. I think I know what it is, but people don't really want to be honest about it. I think but that's so a, another episode. They for don't want to say it out loud. Right. No, no, I want to know. Like, what do you think it is? I really want to know. That's a whole other episode because we will spend the whole rest of our 45 <laughs> minutes talking about it. Um, But let's talk about you for a little Just bit. Just say as levels this stuff. <laughs> let's talk about you for a little bit. So that was, that was our I'm Curious to Know game. I love that game because it always sparks conversations. Um, So I was reading up about you, saw that you went to prison for a little bit. I was curious to know, we're not playing the game anymore, but why did you go to prison? <laughs> Just being crazy, you know, drugs and stuff like that. Doing them or selling them? No, feds. I went to the feds for selling drugs, oh. just doing stuff. I did state and feds, actually. I did both. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you were moving that What was that? Being bad. <laughs> no, I was just being bad. You know, just, you know, it, it's... It's a product of your own environment. You grew up in that type of environment. You look out to certain were, people. That you were you scared when you went to jail or prison? Be. Yeah. To be <laughs> like, it's all these big ass scary niggas in there. I would be scared. No, it's not what people actually think. I mean, it is. I was about but to it say, ain't. now hold up. <laughs> You're right, because we don't have a prison bay on here like, before. Okay, he get, told us for real. <laughs> he told us the truth. No, it's all on how you carry yourself. No, it's just on how you're curious. Everybody's situation is different. You know, the feds was like cool, and then I went up state, and state was a little rough. But it's not like, oh, he's small, so I'm a mess. It's not like that. It don't get down. It's it's how you carry yourself. You know, you must have people so in there. You must have had friends, or you're funny. <laughs> nah. Are you funny? Because our fr- my friend, he was like, I'm. I was the funny <laughs> nigga. That's how I got out of you know basically getting my booty taken. Who said like? Are you like, funny? Listen, that, whoa. Whoa! He's no, I'm asking you. Are you funny? I'm a funny guy, but I wasn't funny in jail. This is a That's the this is gonna thing. sound random, but I have a reason for asking this. When you were growing up, did your family try to encourage you to be funny, to be the funny guy, and crack jokes on people? No. no? Oh, okay. No. I asked um, because. Why? Well, because I'm like short, like Kevin Hart, and I need, well, to, I need yeah. to be a funny guy. And um, I'm short. I'm a little bit taller than you, but I'm short and. When uh, oh, yeah, throw that in there. when my brother was little, I don't know why it keeps getting blurry. When my brother was little, my mom used to be afraid that he was going to be short. So she was like, you know, people going to make fun of you. That's just what happens when you're a short guy. So she wanted to make sure that he grew up and was funny. And she was like, you need to learn how to crack jokes so that people don't be fucking with you. So I was just wondering if uh, you got that same advice, but you didn't. It's all good. Did you ever try to get a girlfriend while you were in prison or did you already have one? No, I had one. I had one when I was in jail. And then I had to let her go because she cheated. You had to well, let that's her That's kind of what happened. <laughs> how did that go? Yeah. Like, did you right, really boy, expect her to not be fucking around with nobody letting else? Letting me go. <laughs> Nigga, I'm letting you go. No, but she actually, no, she actually, to this day, like, if you all can never find her, uh, she regrets it. She regretted it, you know, to this day. Because I kept trying to tell her, you know, when I come home, I'm going to be, you know, you know, every guy says when they come home, they're going to do this and do that, and they mm-hmm. don't. And I got to understand she was feeling that, like, oh, this dude's tripping. And she just did her own thing. So I wasn't mad at her. You know, I, I had time to do. I didn't expect her to do the time with me. But I expected her to actually be, like, faithful. And that, that, that just How did you even Were find you... out that she was yeah. cheating? Yeah, who snitched? That, that's who the was snitching? Part. No, this is the funny part. Hear me out. This is the funny part. So in prison, you find out shit very quick. 
in prison. Like prison gets stuff before we get shit out here. But um, somebody had told me that um, she was out riding around and she was with a, a known, like a kind of a known guy in our city. And um, yeah. And they said it was, you know, kicking there or whatever. When I, I just feel like you. About it, she denied it like hell. That's rude to tell somebody who's locked up that their significant other is cheating on them. Like I'm already locked up, bro. I don't even want to know. Let me live in my fairy tale. I can't even do nothing. I can't call. I can't text. <laughs> So after um, after was, you let her go, did you start signing up for those websites where you can um, meet somebody out here and get like a pen pal? And sometimes they put money on your books and stuff, like on Love After Lockup. No, actually, the funny part is I ended up uh, getting this uh, this Sally that I had, and he was like a like a lad king, no uh, Spanish guy from Philly from Badlands, and um, basically his sister like. I went on a visit and he went on a visit and his sister seen me. I was like, who's that? Hmm. That's my celly. That's it. But, I, but every time I went on a visit, like, it's funny. I talk about my height. But um, this is funny, though, because I go on a visit and, like, everybody's mom was like, oh, my God, who's that? He's somebody's baby. <laughs> like, what did he do? Like, who is that little boy? Like, ah. So they're just like, you know, a lot, of, a lot of women, a lot of, like, girls just like me when I, you know came out on the visits and shit. Hmm. I was okay. I could have got a girl. Does that make you upset when people always comment on your height? <clears throat> no. No. That's, I got a lot. My height helped mm-hmm. me in life. How? Not. How so? Um, I feel like growing up in high school, like it's kind of similar to like what you were saying, you know, like when I was growing up, people will make fun of you, you know, but I was like, small but I was always strong you know and I was very fast so I had to use all of that and think about something to do so I started getting into sports and with sports comes females and when you're really good at sports females start to come you know, you so know what it wasn't that reminds me of Pooh that's how I, yeah. remember Pooh he was I wonder where you know right now in life <laughs> he played football no, in I high school that. he went to prison he went to Pooh went to um, prison well, that's yeah Little he poo. went to prison, girl. He out free though. He's out. Little oh. He free now. Um, but okay. yeah, he went to prison. He played sports, but it got him attention. He stayed with the girls. Very similar situation. Yeah. He was a little nigga. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, it wasn't. I mean, that had a that had a, a lot to do with it. But you know, I was always told like I was nice looking. I was mm-hmm. just short. That's it. Girls like you're fine. Like, you're just short. So. um <laughs> Yeah, I mean that, that that worked. That was decent looking, and I was able to get girls, and you know, because that's what it's all about, right? Can I still get a girl? No, it, really, it, really, it really, it really wasn't. But it, you know, as a guy growing up, you know, it was fun, and I and I wasn't the, the player type, so it was even more fun. And you're faithful. That's great. That's great. I wouldn't say that. he didn't say that. He just said he wasn't a player type. I am now. I am now, but back then, I don't know. Does prison, so you get out, you go to prison for four years, you get out of prison, you start dating again, whenever you did start dating again, did that past like create an issue when you brought that up to people? Because I know when I'm dating someone, if they bring up, you know, I was locked up, I'm instantly like my booty hole gets tight and I'm like, God damn, he, he needs a place to live or he needs me to help him get a job. Mm-hmm. He needs me to co-sign some or sign. I'm gonna some. need. T- yeah, oh, he needs like, a rental car. Like, I can't do this. No, what do you mean? I just no. It was rough, man. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was def- definitely hard. But um, I end up dating a, a woman that I end up having a child with. That was a great person mm-hmm. that actually um, helped me. She uh, she helped me the whole way. Like, like shout I mean, out to her. I was a guy that had nothing. Like I had nothing, and she like paid for everything. Wow. Like every time we went You out, met her after crazy. you got out or while you were still in? No, I had got out and um I had ended up, you know, meeting up with her or whatever and she ended up becoming like a a, a beautiful and great like human being. Like That's incredible. Like she really it's hard, it's hard to have like find women like that. So why didn't it work you know, out? Like what happened? What you do? Oh, well, well, what happened? <laughs> no, it's just we just were we were just too different, you know what I'm saying? Like we weren't compatible, but we. The good part is that thank God we end up having a beautiful child together. So she's always going to be in my life, and um, she's actually the uh, president of my company. Wow! So y'all have a good, healthy relationship. That's good. 
Yeah, we co-parent very well. I was going to add that sometimes. And I make sure she got money. <laughs> sometimes I feel I like. Sure she get money because I got to pay her back. <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, you better get on it and get that hype popping. <laughs> um, when you So speaking of like right when you got out of prison, you had a baby. That makes me think. Sex. Obviously, you're not having sex in prison, like unless you well, are fucking one of the guards right. or something, or you're okay with sleeping with men. And I'm assuming you're right. not. So, what, do you miss? Did you miss sex? And when you got out, were you like, "I need to fuck something"? Nah, that's the crazy part. Like, nah, like I really like jail. Like it, like mentally, like it's almost like when you go to like the military and you have like the stuff they say you catch when you come home from the military. Me neither. I always want to do um, that training. When you like have fled. But um, yeah, it, it, I had too much on my mind. Uh-huh. To worry about. You were stressed. You were like, I don't have a place to live. Fuck that pussy. Not literally. No, I, had, I was in a halfway house when I came home. They wouldn't let me come home to my mom's. A lot of racism stuff that was going on at the time. You know, and this is at the time before, like, you know, racism is like a bigger thing. And we're like really, you know, trying to. It's always been big. How old are you? (laughs) Right. No. Yeah, how old are you? It's not that. No, 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 no. It's not that it's always been big. It's really more. It's coming out a lot more on in media is what I'm saying. Because back then, like, no, I was I was getting the blues from them white uh, probation officers. It was bad. They didn't want to see me succeed. Like they literally told me they wanted me to work at McDonald's instead of me trying to go back and try to like chase my dream playing sports. They're like, nah, you gotta go to McDonald's. We need like you we need you on like on on pace like we need pay stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, we need to have a job. And I'm like, okay. And I was trying to get a decent job at a deco. I went to like little temp agencies. They didn't want that. They like, no, you're gonna work at Burger King or I'm like, dang, like for real. Like that's just that's racism at its finest to me. Like you want an African American black man to work flipping burgers. Like why? Why can I work at a, a better job? It makes sense. Mm. So it's like I feel you. you know, but you know, you. nowadays it probably still go on. But I feel like a lot nowadays people can, you know, take that to the media and they can blow it up now. Like, but back then, like it wasn't like. So that. when was people, this? So a lot of people. <clears throat> um, I got I got locked up in '06 and came home in 2011. Mm-hmm. That is a long time. We were still in high school. <laughs> yeah, I'm grown. <laughs> I'm <old. laughs> we were a little mm-hmm. ripe tots um all right well that's enough prison talk even though i just love talking about prison i watch all the prison shows kiki you know how you love like the reality tv like the uh-huh. housewives and the other stuff and all of it i'm like that with prison shows like i watch 60 you watch days, 60 days in, in. And mm-hmm. locked up girl and i'll be really i'm just i've always been like that obsessed with like prisoners lives like you're really in here you don't get to see other people you don't get to see the outside you gotta eat this mushy food it sucks. Ex- I don't understand that 60 days in show because why the fuck would you want to sign up for that? Like, you didn't do a crime. It's one thing to already be in there. You did some shit. You got your ass caught up. Now you're doing your time so that you can re-enter society. And okay. they really be in there acting like they're prisoners. I'd be cracking And up. then like, some okay. of them get so caught up in that life and I'm like, what the fuck you're is going on? You're in the drama. On? You got a girlfriend. Now what I like is love after lockup and life after lockup. Now I want to see what's going to happen when they come home and I like to see, this is bad, but I like to see the prisoners scamming these people on the outside because I'm just not understanding and I love to watch and that's why I asked if you had a little girlfriend or whatever because um, some people in the prison system parole officers and stuff they will encourage well not parole officers but um, the officers what are they called correction officers they tell you no you need to get on these websites there are women out here men too but there are people out here who will put money on your books when you get out they're going to help you have a place to stay get you all set up so you don't have to be out here roughing it and I know this for a so fact, like a huh? Pal. You really a pen pal? Absolutely, a pen pal. yes. Now, pen pal, you gotta watch the what? show. It's good. Well, see, that's for people that have a lot of time, though. You gotta have like ten or fifteen more years. To- All those people don't have four. ten or fifteen yeah. years. They had a couple of years, but when you well, ain't got crazy. nobody that's gonna be out there to help you, and you don't have a plan, no, you gonna sure. look for that pen pal. Yeah, you gotta use what you got uh, to get what you want. Uh, Cause let me tell you, I would be writing bars. I'm writing Day songs one. to send to people. When do I get access to the computer? When can I start? When can I mail? find my man? Cause I need somebody. Okay. You know, you're getting a lot of amount of toilet paper until it's time to get you some more. Like, and if you just run out of toilet paper, you got to start bargaining with people. What? Like, oh hell no! <clears throat> See, I already know I wouldn't girl, make it in jail. I know I, make, I would have to be somebody's girlfriend. I would have to. I, I have to be a girlfriend, would. or I have I to be, be looking a snitch for the, to the biggest, cops. burliest bitch in there. I'm Where's yours. she at? Hmm. And don't Bro, fuck with me, okay? Because like, she gonna beat your ass. 
Mm-hmm. All right, Antoine. So, uh, but you know, that's enough about our prison fantasies. <laughs> I can't wait until the day when you guys see Kiki and I, Kiki and Medina Monroe, cocktails, dirty discussions in precinct. Like we're going to be in a prison doing a live show for the men that don't get to we're see not, women. Could you imagine no, security surrounded around us? The big You lights. can be in a we're prison. On the other side of the glass. A, you can go. <laughs> Girl, please. Mm-mm, they better go to youtube.com and see what cover, they can see. We were turtlenecks turtlenecks and bodysuits all right so anyway um, antoine um we want to know about your dating life your love life now um now you know i'm glad you said you don't get too tired of people always talking about your height because that was something that um we noticed i saw your youtube channel mm-hmm. and i saw these videos and i'm like damn how tall is he because these women are all looking like giants now we know five one okay so how often is it that you meet women who are shorter than you? I'm just curious. Oh, that's a good question. That you're attracted to. <laughs> Let me add that on. Um, there. There's, I mean, there's a, there's a lot. There's, there's but some. how often I do mean, you meet them? Not mm-hmm. often. I don't really just go out just trying to just, you know, all that female and stuff like that. Are you single? I miss that part right now. Um, it's complicated. Okay, it's a yes or a no. Okay, um, it's a situation. <laughs> it's a situation. Oh, you said Jesus. what? He said it's a situation. situation. Oh Lord, you're toxic. That is what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you're toxic. No, There's a girl no, somewhere in the bathtub, in a lukewarm bathtub, crying, listening to Beyonce. Wait and hear me say, "Are you single?" <laughs> what the fuck did he say? She's listening. It up. Like, she probably turned it off and her friends were like, you know oh, girl, what? don't listen. <laughs> you know what your friends are like, don't, just don't worry about it. We want to go get drinks. What's <laughs> <laughs> bad. Oh, um. Don't make me feel bad. Don't make me feel bad. Well, now. don't do it's things okay, don't, to make I'm yourself honest. feel bad. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I got to be honest, though. I can't, I can't lie. If I lie, that would be so amazing. why is it a situation? Why is it a relationship? Um, it's complicated. It, I, I really, it's just, I, Is she not single? Like, <laughs> you know why our faces are doing this? Because we are women and we have dealt with multiple <laughs> fuck boys. We've had our- I'm just trying to understand. Myself, had my feelings stomped on and I've had no, men I'm, say it was a situation ship and I thought it was a relationship. Oh, no, no. I've heard all no, sorts a, of I'm things and I think it's all a bunch of bullshit. So I'm just wondering when you say, oh, you'll say I'm not out here meeting other women. Um, I'm not really doing that. Don't believe that. But okay, maybe you're not outside doing it all willy nilly. But you were just signing the DMs the other day. We didn't forget that tidbit. So Puerto Rico during quarantine. So you could find that message relatively quickly. So it was recent. But anyway, so. Hmm. But you're saying it's a situation. Okay. Not like you meet a woman, you like her, and then all of a sudden you have to be together. I get that. But there's hesitation. So what is it? Is it that you don't want to cut off other women? Do you want to leave your options open? Is she really married and you waiting for her to get divorced? What's T? No, it's it's um it's just life. It's hard to explain. It's just that has been difficult for you to do life, today, is explain. <laughs> I'm buying Woo! you a dictionary for your birthday life. or my, Christmas. My, don't do that. <laughs> my life. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is my life and her life, you know, when you when when certain people have a certain type of life. What is your life? Like what makes it complicated to have a relationship? It's, some some women No, for you. What makes it complicated for you to have a relationship? <laughs> What's well, more complicated for her than it is for so me? So you don't like, have I'm any okay complications. It's her. Correct. So what yeah. is her complication? She don't want this is my life. My life itself. Like this. You just said it went yours. Like now which one is it? No, 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 no. no I did it. Hear me out. Some some women do not like to date men that are in that extra like life. Well, I can't say extra. You no can't because you don't know what that means. Right, because you just said it wasn't uh, that great. No, I know what it means. Y'all just don't, no, we don't. It. But however, okay. Okay, so what is it about your life? What is it? I feel like you're trying to allude to something. What is it? No, it's just that for her, like for me, I'm I'm okay. Everything's good on my. What is she? But it's a situation. Go ahead. 
she's not okay with the extra, the extra life. Like when, you know, just being around different people, different women, you know, after and you know, di- exactly different women. And like, you might be kind of flirty. You have groupies. Uh, I guess. So I would, what? I would get so. Well, you used it. You must have them. So what do the groupies do? What do they say to you? Like, are they sliding? Sliding DMs. Hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, sliding DMs. So she has had access to And you respond. Or... No, so, no, no. It's, it's some, no, some I do, some I don't. Like, but I don't respond to them trying to, like, holler at them or nothing like that. So basically, like, she done found some shit out and she knows that you be out here dipping and dabbling. No, she didn't find anything out. She she knows what she just knows my life. Well, I'm saying woman's intuition is real, and sometimes we do be knowing stuff. Like we might not have the evidence, but we know that it's happening. And we sound crazy for saying it, but we know that it's happening. I don't even need the evidence. I don't even need it. That's when it turns into a toxic ass situation because we still it ain't shit ain't all misunderstood when we fucking now Mm -hmm. now it's clear now it's clear now all of a sudden I go home you in those. Okay, this is getting real personal for me. <laughs> yeah, let's get. <laughs> I'm not a cheater, though. I know. Yeah, but y'all not in a relationship, so how can you cheat, huh? I mean, we are. I, I look at it like that. We look at it as like that. As I well. wish what is your zodiac the sign? Sagittarius. Are you a, oh, are you a? I was just gonna say, are you a Sagittarius or a Gemini? Scorpio. Same thing. Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. I don't know wow. what happens at the end of the year. But shit in the stars ain't right. We asked you. I just want to let the record state that we're not crazy because we asked you about your relationship status and you gave us some blah, 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 blah. But Situation. now it's a relationship. You look at it like that. You don't cheat. You respond to the groupies, not to holler at them, but just to see if what they're going to be more forward and they'll make the first move. You and don't like extra, but move? you're extra. She don't like your you extras, but you don't even extra. like extra. This is we are Antoine Morgan. I'm still confused, but I I, I hear a lot of I'm mess. Honest, though, well, like, that's good. Be know. honest. No, I'm not telling I'm you. I'm glad you're being the, honest too. And sometimes honesty can be confusing. Hmm. You have a you have a great <laughs> smile. Um, <laughs> this was this was great. Um, I don't know. If, do we have time to touch on the other topics, or should we move on to indecisive Diane? What do you think, he? Let's go ahead and move on to indecisive Diane. Okay. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? Hey, ladies, it's me, Indecisive Diane. Sorry, I was literally just checking my face. I just got finished sucking my man's dick. Here's what I want you to do this week. I want you to show your man some appreciation. New year, new dick sucking skills. Get on those knees, ladies. (laughs) Happy New Year. All right, and we are back from Indecisive Diane, and it is time for the advice. Remember, if you would like to ask us a question on the show, then you can send it in to askcocktails at gmail.com, and maybe we'll read it on the show. I have the hiccups, <clears throat> and this is okay. about to hurt. You got one pulled up? I do. I have one pulled up, and I believe this is from a man. Um, so this is great, because we don't really have a lot of men on the show, Antoine. We should do it more often. We always love to like bicker and argue with them. Okay. Hi, ladies. Let me start by saying that y'all have been helping me dive into the female sex world and understand it a lot better. So thank you for that. You're welcome. So I am a six foot three black, 220 pound man, and I deal with size insecurities. Mm. My penis is 5.9 inches. (laughs) And it looks small, especially for a man my size. Oh, he's really explaining. People see a black tall man and immediately think big dick. Oh, this is sad. And I listen to your podcast and others and everyone says the same. I need a big dick. Well, we don't be saying that. We don't don't be saying that. So I don't know what you heard. (laughs) (laughs) Um, 
even though I am not that blessed in size, I try to compensate with my stroke, my tongue and my fingers. I have to admit that I have been with women of all shapes and sizes and I have not had any complaints. Actually, I've had a lot of praises, but for some reason I cannot shake this insecurity that I have. I don't show my insecurities to women, especially if we have not had sex yet, because I know that that is a major turnoff. And in the bedroom, I completely forget about the insecurities too. But whenever I have to walk up to a woman and talk to her and take her home, I think three or four times before I do it. Do you have any tips on how I can shake this insecurity away? I love y'all. I would really appreciate if y'all answered this. I'm going to let the man in the room go first. (laughs) That's hard. Oh, that's so sad. That's messed up, man. Um, What would you say if your homeboy was like, I really have like an insecurity about my penis size? Like, Thank I'm God for women. Tape like, measure. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing now, just looking down at my my hands. But um, no, seriously. Um, I don't. Gosh, that's sad. Um, I don't know, man. I, I mean, let's tell him to keep going. He's going okay. Well, here's what I okay. will say, big man, small dick. I think you have to treat this like any other type of insecurity. There are beautiful women out here who everyone tells them they're beautiful. They don't feel like they're beautiful when they look in the mirror. And we're all like, how could you feel that way? You're saying that you don't have the complaints, but you got to make yourself feel it. So I feel like you should stand in the mirror, pull your pants down. Don't just be standing there in a big t-shirt. Be naked. swing (laughs) Swing your dick around in a circle and tell yourself, I have a big dick. I don't have complaints. I have a beautiful dick. I am worthy. But how would it go? How's it gonna go around in a circle if it's five and a half? What did he say? Five point six inches? inches? That's not that that's small. Almost, it's really not that small. I just look it's at not, honestly, how big is this can? I don't know, but I just okay. So a sheet of paper is like eleven inches. So mm-hmm. if I fold it in half, that's five and a half inches, right? So that's like one hand, and well, it's gonna disappear in my hand. But you know, it's not that that small. The problem is. You're a big guy, so it's gonna look smaller. It is, mm-hmm. but the women are not complaining. So, like Medina said, you gotta get it in your head. I don't think you should tell mm-hmm. yourself you have a big dick because then you're gonna be confused because that's not big, but that's okay. You're already doing what you need to do. You're just gonna have to. And the first step is fucking. recognizing. I love that you acknowledge. It's, yeah. You got to be okay with not having a big dick. It is really okay. You said that you listen to our show and you hear all these people. You're hearing things. That's your insecurity speaking. Because we don't be saying yeah. that. Especially we never say that. Not me. Yeah. We would actually like, prefer not to have a big old I mean, 5.9 inches sounds good. It. Yeah. yeah. I could deep yeah. that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do a lot more with a smaller way. You just, and you're already overcompensating in other areas. You are doing the right things. You're doing. You're doing. The I right appreciate things. it like, for, and I'm sure the women you, do too. Yeah, and you ta- you said you know you're doing great with oral and your fingers and everything else. That is really what you do to make up for it. Maybe you could buy I some gifts, but hey, if you're still getting pussy, the women are not really tripping. Now, they might tell you it's good, but if they don't come back, if there's no repeats, then they might be lying. But if they're repeating, you're fine. Just just relax. Worry about other things. Easier said than done, but you're just gonna, it's gonna be like the little girl in that movie. You are smart, you are kind, you are beautiful, or whatever the you fuck is they say. You just have you to tell yourself kind, that. You you're is big, you're, you're medium sized dick. It's not even little. Your medium sized dick is fine. Just one yeah. thing I will say do not pull out a magnum. If you pull out a magnum, you asking to get roasted because that's unnecessary. You're not fooling anybody when you pulled out the gold pack. It's cool. You'll yeah, be fine. and you also might not want to be one of them niggas that like talks during sex. Like you like this dick, huh? You might not be ready for the answer, so just be quiet. What? <laughs> well, so just just case, don't be calling it big. Yeah, yeah. Praise yeah. the That's woman, and she's that. gonna come back to you with some good stuff. You know. There we go. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was a really great advice letter. Yeah, I just really want to know where you heard that we be liking big dicks like that. I need to reiterate some things okay um this one just a squirrel trying to get in that okay what's up y'all i hope we didn't read this hey it's kind of old but whatever what up y'all i'm writing all the way from houston so i'm under a lot of stress with nursing school and working two jobs Woo. 
Asia. Lately, I have an abundance of penis partners to choose from to release my stress, but I'm apprehensive about giving someone a chance. My personal experience with heterosex is not great, and I'm tired of having to teach someone how to fuck me. Trust me. Mm. I get that you have to learn a person's body and what they like, but a lot of things I have to correct are just fundamental, i.e. no teeth on my clit. Wet your fingers before you insert them. Foreplay. Not to mention, I can't ever find anyone sexually adventurous like me. So all this energy in me is just bottled up. I've been feeling like my male partners are hella selfish and don't really consider sex to be for the both of us. I guess what I'm asking is, how do you pick a sexual partner that matches your energy? How do y'all cope with sexual frustration and lack of intimacy? Signed, just a squirrel trying to get a nut. <sighs> well... Picking my sexual partner and making sure we're compatible, I, that I've just always kind of lucked up. I say this all the time. I don't really have a lot of horrible sex. Has it happened? Yeah. But for the most part, I can feel the man out or the woman based off of how we interact where we meet. Like there's a lot you can do with eye contact. And a lot of people who aren't comfortable with it aren't typically good at sex. That's what I have learned. If you can't look me in my eyes, if you can't say what you mean and mean what you say when we're talking, like, I kind of just feel it out like that. Everybody doesn't do that. I've lucked up. Sexual frustration. When I decide to not have sex and I step out of the game for a minute, it's normally by choice. I don't normally have droughts and it's because there just ain't no niggas. Because you are a woman and it's easy to find men if you just want to fuck. Now, if you want a connection, then that's different. But I don't really deal with the drought part that well. And I don't remember the third part of her question. That was like a three or four part question. How do you, um, yeah, basically just how do you deal with the sexual frustration? Like she has partners. She has them, but she needs them to be adventurous. Let me tell you I what I do. I think sometimes you got to open your mouth and tell people what you want also. And when all that shit doesn't work, this is what you got to do because you got to look out for you. Ain't nobody going to take care of you better than yourself sometimes. Get Come you some toys. Somebody. Get you a Vesper. Use code cocktails. Get a little engraving put on there. If you use the code, it's free. Um, get some toys and use those. And then that's going to help you like think clearly so you can be more focused when you're going through your penis options. Then when you get with those niggas, you tell them like the ones who aren't that adventurous, you're going to have to take the lead. Sometimes they might be open to it. They're just nervous. Believe it or not, Most of the as, time much they shit, are. as they talk on the Internet and amongst their friends and in songs and all that other stuff, they get shy and they might not want to run you off. So they may not want to tell you first. They'll be a lot more open if you say it first. And then also what, another thing I've noticed, even if they don't really want to try it that much, they don't want to seem weak in front of you. So like say it anyway and then just see what happens. But also, if you do get your Vesper and you get the engraving on it, maybe you should put on there, you need a little help. And then when you pull it out, tell it, be like, read this. Or I got you. <laughs> and then start playing it. <laughs> I wish I would have got that on my, I got, I got us, baby. Or you need some help. You know, niggas like mm -hmm. toys. What you got to say, Antoine? Because I want a nut too, is what you could put on there too. Oh, period. I'm, I'm agreeing with y'all. Like, this is a female thing. I'm, but we don't have men on the show want somebody so we to like tell to get you. their two cents. Like if a girl was having sex with you and in her mind, she's thinking he's not very adventurous and you're just doing whatever it is you normally do. That's not extra. What would be a way for her to tell you, I want to try something more adventurous without it turning you off or wearing you out or you. anything? Yeah. Messing up the mood. I don't know. I guess you just have to show me, I guess. Like just do it. Tell them, just show them. So if she wanted but, to, like, but put her she might want you to do something. Mind. She should just stick her finger in. No. Like, how does she let you know I want to try some more stuff? Or what does she want your uh, dick in her ass? Yeah. Uh, that one, I don't know, man. That's something that yeah. I feel like yeah, just do this shit. Maybe he might like it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, just dudes that do like your ass dating shit like that. I mean, I'm not into that personally, but guys like that shit. So just try it. You know, might spice up their relationship and guys like that. Guys like different things. Like, you know, like when girls, certain women, they just keep it basic. And some men be like, and they go out the box. That's why certain, some men cheat. 
Well, the men aren't wanting anything more. They're not approaching her with anything more. And that's why she feels like they aren't adventurous. She wants to do more. She just doesn't Uh, know how to bring it up to them. So some things she might want them to do, not like I want to go do something to you. She wants them to do something to her. So she can't just do it. Right. So I guess. Since we start telling these niggas, uh, because they don't be knowing how to talk. Um, Also, have some sticky notes with you. I learned this from um, one of my girlfriends. Have some sticky notes with you. It was for intentions, but you can also, this will work in this situation. Let's say you want him to put his finger, his thumb in your butt. I'm going to put my thumb in on butt. Put, I want you to put your thumb in my butt, fold the sticky up, and put it in your panties. When he pulls down your panties, that sticky note is going to fall out. If you don't wear panties, put it in your bra. Tell him to read it. Boom. 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 I don't know any other better way. It's cute. It's sexy. It's a surprise. It's like a fortune Try cookie. It out. Tell us how it works. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you don't have to say any words. He, like, it's just cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, try that out and let us know how it goes. And if it goes well, send us a cocktail. All right, you guys. Mm-hmm. So that's it for the advice this week. And it is time for us to move on to the cocktails. Remember, if you would like to share one of your sexual confessions, a crazy story, wild story, funny story, nasty story, then email it to us. Cocktails.atl at gmail.com. Okay, so I would really like to hear Antoine's cocktail. Me too. Me too. I'm so excited. And I love when the guests go first. Go ahead, Antoine. Don't you dare say I don't know. Uh, don't you dare say no, I don't I know. Got something. I, so I had a situation where I had this uh, this girl that played basketball. She had been like maybe like six, four, six, five, something like that. And um, the sex was a little weird. Cause she was like trying to like, you know how you, you know, you about to hit from the back. She wanted to like, you know, lean on the, on the, on the side of the bed. I couldn't do all that, you know, cause the ass was already high kind of out of niggas. Mm-hmm. Step. So, so what you do? Yeah. So we had to do a lot of laying down sex. That's all. You know what I'm saying? We had to improvise. That's it. We improvised a little bit, but I probably will never date another, you know, WNBA NBA player. Did she like, ever pick you up? No, she didn't pick a nigga up now. You just got to get you a step stool. They got about Amazon for $12. I I needed that. I ain't never lied. I needed it Mm -hmm. that night. That night, I actually did. Some yearbooks or something. Okay, so. Or maybe even a swing. If you want to get real spicy, a swing. Oh, yeah. But no, like, we improvised. I had to lay her down the whole time. Like, I just had to do a lot of, you know, different wild positions, you know? So. What were the different Are positions? Are you from Pittsburgh? Yes, I'm from the bird. I just heard the accent come out. My whole Pittsburgh. family is from Pittsburgh. And I was just like, I just heard the way you said time. And I was like, he is from Pittsburgh. All right. <laughs> sorry. What was your question, Kiki? <laughs> I was asking what the positions were. You said you had to no, improvise. Was, um, a lot of missionary, wow. man. And a um, little side action and land flat on her stomach accent and well you know what I got, they hit it from the back on the bed was cool you know everything was regular except for just her wanting to be bent over on the you know on the bed you know I couldn't do all that you know what I'm talking about so she was just a little too tall she was six four you said a little <laughs> she was like <laughs> compared to me I'm five one right so if she's six four I like my boys all my boys is like six four six five they look like my security mm. So with her, it's like she's day height. And it's like, but it's always like that when we go out. So I ended up, she ended up liking me for some amount or some reason. And I didn't want to mess with her and I did. And, you know, we kicked it. And when there's that big of a height more. difference, because I almost look at it like age difference. And I always, if I end up getting close, I like old men. And I always, if we get close, I end up bringing up the age difference. I just have to, even if it makes it uncomfortable. Do you bring up the height difference? Does anyone ever do that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like 
nowadays, like, no, like I like all women, all shapes, sizes. I respect every woman, you know. But it's just I can't. When you get too tall, it's like we get it. Does I can't do it. <laughs> Kiki and these lips. But them be the ones. I mean, it, it's so crazy though, because them be the ones like. So my friends, we go out. My boys is always the ones that get the short. The short girls literally be my height and will not. Yeah. Look, my we gonna be looking at that six four so six five tall, nigga. Girl. Okay. Yeah. Hey. But right, no, right. So then, but then it's the tall girls that my boys be wanting with the big butts and you know fake looking bodies and all that extra stuff. They like me, so my boys be looking like nigga. I want her, but the little short girl like me, and I'm like, well, the short girl don't like me. So what do you want me to do? So I end up with the tall girls with the big butts and. You know, yeah. it is what it is. I love it. If you like it, I love it. So I'm going to read a cocktail. Um, I don't have an OG cocktail for y'all today, but I think when I get back from Texas, I might have a few. The subject line is exploring my options. <clears throat> hey, y'all. So let's get right into it. Recently, I've been trying to get out and date more. I downloaded every dating app you could think of so I can meet a few people. Those were a fail. So I said, fuck it. I'm just going to see what comes to me. It's crazy when you let things flow naturally. Everything just falls into your lap. So my homegirl invited me to a Friendsgiving gathering right before Thanksgiving. And I figured I'd go since I haven't been going out lately. I'm glad I did because there were some young men there were some young men there that I've never been that I've never seen before in our group of friends. I inquired about one of them and she said he was single. As the night progressed, we started flirting and eventually exchanged numbers. A few days later, he invited me over. I went there and nothing happened, but the sexual tension was so thick you could cut it with a knife. I didn't want him judging me, so I kept my kitty to myself. A few days later, I ran into another guy while at work and was instantly attracted to him. He had on the gray sweatpants and you know exactly where my eyes and my mind went when he walked in. We exchanged numbers and began to communicate daily. I learned that he was from Houston, age time, but he was in town for a job assignment for a few months. I immediately thought, well, it's not like we're going to get married. This guy doesn't even live here, so I might as well fuck him. Not even a day later, and we were rolling around in the sheets of his hotel bed. But you know how you overhype things in your head and have expectations and things don't go exactly as you thought they would? Mm. Yeah, well, that's exactly what happened. Yes, the dick was okay, but that's it. Just okay. This nigga didn't even make me come. I hate when that happens. You just got another body for no reason. So you know what I did? I called the dude I met from the Friendsgiving that same night and asked, could I come over? I had an itch that needed to be scratched and I wasn't going to stop until the mission was accomplished. I went home for a few hours, took a shower and headed to his spot. <laughs> when I got there, there was some fake conversation and next thing you know, bam, his dick was down my throat. I sucked on his dick until he started to squirm and right before he nutted, I stopped and hopped on that thing. From there, everything else was a blur. He fucked me so good y'all i literally felt like i wanted to tell him i love him <laughs> we got into it in that oh we we got so into it that he accidentally nutted in me oh it's just oh. taking a turn for the worse i might be sending y'all another cocktail in nine months laughing my <laughs> ass off over, overall it was amazing and you know i will be back to get another helping of that sign if you can't do it someone else will that was so <laughs> incredible thank you so much <laughs> And I might have another one in nine months. All right. I'm going to add you to the prayer list, sis. Okay. I'm about to choke. <laughs> yeah. That was intense. Woo. I hope he listens to this. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to read one, too. This is... Um, well, I can't say who it's from. Okay. So she says, hey, ladies, I never thought I'd have a cocktail to send in. But last night, my cousin side dude licked my pussy so good, I felt the need to share. How you gonna take your cousin's side dude? But okay. <laughs> um, a little backstory. I unfortunately had to end a relationship with my ex at the beginning of this year. I haven't been too sexual this year due to being in a super fragile place. Before COVID caused my city to shut down, I made a Finsta page on Instagram. Finsta, for those who aren't aware, is a separate Insta account where you get your shit off with no judgment. This man and I would have casual conversation through there and text until one day I posted about liking nut videos. Oh, I get a notification and it's an invisible text from him. He sent me a slow-mo nut video. 
fire. I complimented him and he gets to talking about how he hasn't eaten pussy in a while and how he hates to brag, but that's his specialty. I wasn't attracted to him nor the slight um, bragging. So I only entertained the conversation so much before I stopped texting back. Fast forward to the summertime. I found out this guy and my cousin are friends. My cousin has a man, so I wondered how close they were. She is not aware that this man wants to put his tongue in me. She tells me he supplies her with weed and money when she needs it, but there's been no sex. Yeah, right. So anyway, months <laughs> months, months go on. So do the casual conversations. Nothing really changes until last night. He hits my line asking if I wanted to smoke. Now I'm always down to smoke. So I uh, jump up immediately and get in the shower and get myself right with my honey pot wash and be Bella exfoliating scrub. Girl, are they sponsoring you? Shout out. <laughs> right. This is what I use. Right. Well, in the shower, I'm texting the group chat with the details and my girls basically are telling me to just prepare myself for anything. They also told me not to worry about him being my cousin's possible side piece because she shouldn't be cheating any fucking ways. I didn't see things going that far, but if the opportunity permits itself, then fuck it. He eventually gets there and we smoke two finger size backwoods before he gets to rubbing <laughs> on my thick chocolate thighs. Y'all, the first round ahead was so boring. I was pissed because before he got there, I popped some sheet orgasms and taste vitamins. I felt as if he, they were going to waste. After fake coming a couple of times, we smoked again. Somehow... His head ended up in my pussy again, but this time he clowned. It was as if he knew I was faking the first time. All I'm hearing is him moaning and complimenting me on how I taste. This man flipped, sucked, and rubbed it down. I backed it up, then we started all over again. Okay. He was eating me like a five-course okay. meal. You could tell that he truly enjoyed what he was doing. I had to slide off the couch to surrender. Lazily, I eventually walk him to the door and thank him for the smoke and head session. He says anytime and leaves. As soon as he pulls off, I get a text about how I taste so good and he will pull up anytime. Ain't no way my cousin is not getting a hit on him. Either way, I don't feel bad. Now I'm about to roll up and get some amazing sleep thanks for reading i'm sorry this was so long i needed it to be detailed i love y'all be safe happy holidays and stay black we love you too, no but you're not gonna be around my man trust no bitch what your damn cousin <laughs> shit but all right girl thank you for the oh, cocktail cousin. thank you those were good cocktails mm -hmm. all right you guys sure. well thank you so much antoine for coming on can you let the groupies know where to find thank you, you? The Morgan Brother, Instagram <laughs> and YouTube. Don't do like that. You just caught what I said. <laughs> okay. Antoine Morgan on YouTube and Instagram. All right. You have anything coming up that you yep. want to plug real quick? Are you or are you good? A movie, we'll see it on TV your Instagram. Show? Yo, I really um 2021 is gonna be big since y'all didn't know like who the hell I was for real. Um you didn't you either. <laughs> I'm just yeah, it was mutual. But yeah, next year, but next year we got. A, <laughs> hmm. Next year I got a lot going on, a lot of uh, different films coming out and stuff like that. So just stay tuned. I just want to keep people, you know. Perfect, perfect. Well, shout out to everything yeah, you have going on. Appreciate it. Thank yes. you. Okay, you guys. Um, well, as always, remember to subscribe to our Patreon so that you can see the bonus content that will be rolling out every single Monday. And make sure that you are following us on Instagram at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. And I'm at Coffee Bean D. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye.